YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, on this channel, what we do is we fix cars and we try to make them look as cool as possible. And similar problems that you might have with your cars, we take, we are taking care of them here. And uh, I started this channel not long ago, so I have only few subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that and support your boy so that we can all enjoy cars on this channel. So yes, what we are going to talk about today is, is very simple, uh, a diagnostic uh, process. Uh, if your car does not crank or start, simple things that you should look out for and how to make the car uh, road worthy again. Uh, my car, I didn't want to leave it here at this apartment because they would tow it uh, after it's set for like uh, I think two weeks, one week to two weeks or something like that. And when this problem happens to some people, they leave their cars sitting for more than a month or two months or something like that. Uh, some even leave their cars for like a year. So it's best you actually decide to take care of it now since we are doing our best to make things easier on YouTube. You don't have to pay anything, you just have to just subscribe, click the notification button so that anytime that any other video comes by, you will be first to get it. So, this car was running perfectly. I did a video about it. And um, 1988 Chevy S10. I did, I, when I got it, I didn't do anything. Uh, it was just running perfectly. I didn't do no oil change, nothing. Uh, I think it's a good advice to actually take off specific things like the ignition switch, like the, um, if you want to change the ignition, uh, the, the cylinder, if you want to change it, you can just do that. Uh, I think it's worth it um, until you run into a problem, you know. It's best you change your starter, your alternator, if you want. Alternators are made to last forever, but then problems can actually come along when the car is very old. So, yeah. And you can actually do tune-ups, that is change all your spark blocks. That's not going to hurt that much. And you know, you can do it all by yourself. You take one whole day, one Saturday, just do everything. Change your air filter. But today, this car, I decided to uh, use it to go and get a, a trailer that I bought. And the trailer had a problem with one of the tires, the hub. So I just got a, a, like a brand new one. And uh, I put the tire with me and decided to use this truck to go get it because it's equipped with a tool package. But I went to go and get gas and the, the truck just, yeah. So this is what we ended up with. Now the symptoms, I'm gonna give the symptoms so that you actually know how to go through all that, all that problems, you know. The fuse blew. Uh, it's, it's one 10 amps for uh, EC, ECM, that's, that's the label for it, uh, in, uh, it just like that. So I, I didn't check it out at first, I was just trying to start it again, like cranking it and cranking it and lo and behold, he gave up. <laughs> and the battery went low and uh, my PSI also went low my battery just died also and everything so this is the starter and i'm going to show you how to take it out within like a couple of seconds and for you to take this starter out it's way way difficult to actually get it out from that spot so i will take you down there to show you pretty quick um, first of all the starter will be sitting there like that like so and this part it's actually covered, sticking up into something right there like that. And it's covered like that. And there is some teeth that goes on right onto this teeth right here, okay? So when this starts, then it runs the whole, the whole crank, cranking case and everything. And uh, your car just starts and it starts running. So my car was no crank, no click, and no start. This is the main culprit. So if you want to just do the diagnosis and you know how to change the starter then just go ahead and end this video now but don't forget to subscribe before you leave um, but those who cannot take it out i'm going to show you pretty quick it's right below so when you get down 
uh, when you lay down under your truck, you see it hanging there like that, like so. And this screw goes in here, like so, right? And um, this one goes in there like so. So you take this, I think it's 13 millimeters, you take both of them out and it will just pop out, loosed up. But you can't get it out. Um, and these, this is the power, uh, the one that goes to the battery. This is the, the, the red power uh, that goes to the battery. And there is this right here, another one right here, and another one right here. So there are three, three cords, you know? But they are so short that uh, you can't do anything about it. Um, I am actually hurt on my finger, so I couldn't use my right hand. That's why I did this. This is for only learning purposes. Uh, and entertainment, not for you to go and use to uh, do the same thing to your, your car if you know you can do it. My hand, I, I, I'm hurt on um, three of my fingers. My dog did that. Uh, so, yeah. These three, so I just decided to just cut them off because they are pretty short. So, they are so short, like really short, that you cannot pull it out. So you have to take the screws off before, but this car is so old that this is gonna be difficult for you to take off. You know, just these two bolts, it's gonna to be too, uh, very difficult to take off. So I just cut them off using this right here. I just stick it in, ba, 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 like that. Yeah. So after that, there is an easy way to make that happen. I'm gonna show you guys pretty quick. Um, to, to make it slide out pretty easy. This truck, I don't need to jack it up, so <laughs> yeah. Now let's flip this real quick. All right, so this is the bottom, and this right here is like so. And the starter sits right here, you know, it sits right here, and the, the teeth part goes in there if you guys can see it. So it was not coming off, no matter how I wiggle it, it was not coming off. That's the, the space for it, you know. And the wires that I cut, it's right there. So you see, that's a space right there. But it couldn't come off because of this and this. So what I did was I, I just pushed the starter back after taking them off from this bolt, this hole and that hole. I just did this to that. Then I just slipped out. Then you can just put it back on like that. So yeah. All right. So as you've seen, that's how I got this bad boy out. So I'm gonna just go get a, a brand new one. You know, you have to take this old one in to get to refuse to pay the extra core fees, which is twenty-two dollars or something like that. You know, and uh, I will put this cord over there. Then I will add some extra extra cords to make it longer, you know, so that at least this car will be easy to fix if somebody decides to, okay. So yeah, subscribe to my channel and yeah, that's how to get it started out from a 1988. And that is uh, uh, the easiest way to fish out if your car is not clicking and starting or cranking. Peace out.